Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers Kingdoms Warpath. And I got this loose from eBay without the packaging, so this was a good deal for 20 bucks, and I'm so glad to have them, because now I got a proper looking warpath to go kablam, zing, zowie, and that was Warpath's personality I imitated, so yeah, he was like that, glory, war dog, ready for battle, but this figure is really well sculpted, Really well painted and good representation of the good old Generation 1 Warpath with some modern day upgrades, if I do say so myself. But now we're going to get down to the most important thing, comparisons. Here we have my first Warpath, and this is my Combiner Wars Warpath. Not bad looking, if I do say so myself. And of course, I got G1 Warpath last time I went to Steel City Con. Because it's G1 Warpath. Because it's precious. g one precious. But now we're going to transform him into his robot mode. We're going to flick out his head first. If I can get this panel to open. And get his head all done. Like so. And now we work on his legs. Come on, Warpath, transform. Starting to be a little fussy today, aren't you? We got one leg nearly done. Second verse, just like the first. And then we got the legs all done. And he's got these tank tread feet like he did in the G1. And there we got Warpath almost transformed. Now we're going to work on his shoulders. Flip these treads in to form his arms. And there we got Warpath. Kablam! Zing! Zowie! I'm ready to blast me some Decepticons! But that's literally how he sounded in the Generation 1. And that's a good looking com good looking Warpath compared to the Combiner Wars and the G1. This is more G1 accurate. He's got ankle bend at the knee, which is nice. So you can get him in some knee poses, which is nice. Compared to the original one from Combiner Wars, he's got a lot of posability. And his head and body is really well sculpted and molded. I love that about Combiner... I love the little color detail with Combiner Wars Warpath. But compared to my Combiner Wars Warpath, this guy is number one Warpath ever. And I'm so glad to own him in my collection. He's my new favorite Warpath. Because he's Warpath, and that's why I like him. But now we're going to get down to some comparisons with some other Warpaths. Combiner Wars Warpath. Next to this one. Because if we're doing one more path, we gotta do another. 
Here we got Combiner Wars Warpath next to the Kingdoms Warpath. This is the better version than this one. This one's just a remold of Megatron from Generations 30. Better, okay. You know what I mean? Version. And now we're going to transform the G1 for comparisons because why not? It's G1. There, I say, why not? We needed some G1 comparison. But here is Kingdom's Warpath with his G1 Minibot continuity. And it's precious. Warpathy precious. And that's all there is to say for comparison. Now we're in a group shop with all our Generation 2 bots we have so far. Inferno. Hoist, Red Alert, gonna have to pull the, this thing back a little bit, my Universe Classics Trax, why not, he's Trax, Sea Spray, the Bubble Mouth himself, Beachcomber, cause he's Beachcomber, Cosmos, because I like Cosmos, and Power Glide. And these are, this is my entire Transformers Generation 2 collection so far. I am missing quite a few. I need Smokescreen, a proper Inferno, and last but not least, Inferno, Hoist, and uh, Hoist and grapple. Sorry. Correction. My autistic brains get confused again. Grapple, Inferno, and smoke screen. And then my Generation 2 Decepticon Autobots are complete. Except I'll have to do Perceptor, which I actually did get Titan's Return Perceptor. So I will be saving these comparisons for when I do Transformers Titans Return Autobot Perceptor. But this is my entire Transformers Generation 2 collection as of right now. I've gotten the whole set of Generation 2 figures so far. Is a Generation Kingdoms Warpath worth adding to your collection? Yes. They are awesome. This is a fun looking figure. And I'm so glad I finally picked this up. I'm sad I didn't pick it up when it first came out. But I'm happy I have it now. And that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.